The pilot who killed a British couple in a helicopter crash had cocaine in his system. According to a study, cocaine was present in the system of the British couple who died in an Australian helicopter crash. On January 2, 2023, Ron Hughes, 65, and his wife Diane, 57, were taking in the scenery close to SeaWorld in Queensland when their helicopter crashed in midair with another. Along with pilot Ashley Jenkinson, 40, and another passenger Vanessa Tadros, 36, from New South Wales, the Cheshire couple also perished at the scene. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau ATSB, has published an initial report a year after the accident, stating that Mr. Jenkinson's toxicology analysis reveals a positive result for cocaine metabolites. Despite this, the research concludes that it was unlikely that the very low concentrations would have affected his ability to fly. According to Chief Commissioner Angus Mitchell, exposure was not likely to have occurred in the 24 hours before the accident, based on the metabolite levels. He added, it is important to note, while this is a substantive and comprehensive interim report, the ATSB is yet to make formal findings as to the contributing factors that led to this accident as we are continuing our analysis of that evidence. Local media reports that while the interim assessment has been welcomed by Mr. Jenkinson's family, they have requested people who knew him to refrain from allowing it to tarnish the memory of the pilot. Additionally, they are recommending that everyone read the whole investigation, which discovered multiple contributing factors to this terrible accident. According to the ATSB inquiry, interference from their life jackets contributed to some of the passengers' seatbelts not being fastened correctly. According to Mr. Mitchell, this was not attributed to the tragic outcomes in this case. Two Eurocopter EC-130 helicopters collided in Madeira during the incident. One had just taken off from a different helipad and the other was approaching land.